Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Base Database. This is part two of the Sales Database and in this module I want to show you how you can create a parameter query so that you don't have to run multiple queries that are basically the same. Now what I want to do is I'll just recap, if I go into tables, what we've got is customers, if I just open customers, there's a few customers with a customer ID. Close that one down. You've got some products, same sort of thing, products, office courses there, and then you've got sales. These are the three tables. The sales table, you can see, is listed there with the sales ID, in this example, the primary key. So if I want to run a report that's based on a particular sales ID or a customer ID, I need to do what's called a parameter query so I don't get the whole list or all the customers like this, just the ones that I want. So that's called a parameter query. Now, if I just go to um, show you the relationships that we did last time, this is the links that we've done. So one customer can have many sales and one product can be sold many times. So that's what we've created. So if I just save that and then now I want to create a parameter query so create query query design view I'm going to select and then bring that window onto this screen so you can see it and then you've got your tables there which I'm going to add each one so that's the customers products and sales add close that off and then just move these into position so the sales table would probably be in the middle and then the customer one like that. So you can see the structure of the whole database. Just make these a little bit wider so you can see all the fields. Now what I want to bring down into this grid at the bottom is the customer name. I want the product name that they have bought and I want the quantity that they've bought as well. And I also want to do the parameter query on this field, the sales ID. So if I just bring down customer name and product and price well quantity from this table and price so let's have a quick look at that so that gives you the answer there so that's everybody but I only want to look at an individual transaction so sales ID um, I haven't brought down but if I bring sales ID down what you can do, if I just widen this a little bit, and you can see the results as I do this, I'm going to take the tick off there so it's not going to show it. And then under the criteria area, this is where you do it. So I'm on that criterion row. You need to start off with a colon. That's what's going to trigger the parameter option. And then you have to type a prompt that's going to appear. And the prompt cannot have spaces or any special characters. If you want a sentence, you need to join it together with an underscore. So enter underscore sales id that's all i'm going to put enter underscore sales id now if i click away from that that should trigger the parameter feature now if i click on this little green tick to run the query the parameter box comes up and it's asking me for a value now i know that um, the first value is zero the second value in that table is a four so if i just type four there and then click OK. It should just show me one record, Paul White. So he bought 10 copies of Microsoft Word. So that's what the parameter does. Now if I save this, I'll just call it QRY Para for this little demonstration. Not the best name in the world. Get rid of that other stuff. So that was a, a type 4 that time. But if I close this down and then it sits in with my other queries if I go back to the sales table have a look at the sales and bring that table across so this time if I use sales ID 6 let's see what that brings in so I'll close that down if I double click on the query it asks me for the sales ID I'm going to type 0 and click OK and then I get the first transaction of zero close that down and run it again I'll type six see what I get there bring that back into view 
and I get that as well sales ID 6 so that's basically how you create a parameter query you have to use the colon to trigger it go back and edit this for a second so you can see it bring this over so the colon in front of whatever you type and then an underscore no spaces is what you need to do to create a parameter query but that's how you can create a parameter query so for example cities if you wanted a query to tell you where people lived you wouldn't have to create a query for Bradford for Leeds for Sheffield for every city in England you would just create one a parameter query and each time you would either type this the city's name in there or if you had an ID you would type the ID field but that's all I want to talk about in this little video thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one